In uh, this video, we're going to turn our, the model that we just made into a working drawing. And the working drawing is important because that communicates all the sizes um, and details. So it doesn't just look pretty, it's actually got some information. In order for us to do that, uh, make sure that your units are still in millimetres. If they are, great. If they're not, change them. We're going to press the plus, which is down in the bottom left, and we're going to go create drawing. We're going to go to custom template and choose ISO English A3. Uh, we're going to use the period instead of the comma. We're in millimeters and we're going to use third angle, not first angle. So the way that works is if you've got the, no, no, the front of a, let's assume that's the front, not the top. So the front of something, if we're choosing third angle, then the top view is going to be at the top. The bottom view is at the bottom. The This view is going to be on that side and that view is going to be on that side. If we choose first angle, we're projecting through. So if we want this view, that is down there. If we want this view, it's up there. That view is over there and that view is over there. So if we can all agree to use third angle, then we don't get any confusion when we're trying to explain anything. When we've chosen that, press OK. And that should take us to a new blank drawing. We can see the details at the bottom should have our name, says A3, things like this. And we're going to choose the part studio. So you can see it's just there. We're going to click that and we're going to click the entire lamp. Now the scale is 1 to 2, which is quite small. If we went to 1 to 1, that'd be too big. And we won't be able to see the top. So uh, we can, it's not a good thing to do, but if we went to 1.5 and just click that and just wait for a bit until it boots up I don't even know if I did one to no I didn't no. let's just change that to one 1.5 1 and select that and go okay okay and I can move that around so we want this view here so go to this uh, this button here which is the projected views and we're going to go to the side and I'm going to click the projected views again and select the profile I want I'm going to go to the top and if you want you can be a bit clever and go and put your other view there okay press escape to deselect the projected view and just drag that in that I think we've got enough space for everything else. Everything looks all right. Okay, the next part is the dimensions. But before we do the dimensions, we took this pole and we didn't just put it to the end. We've actually got some hidden details. I mean, there's a, a little cut out there. That's a hole there. And that goes halfway down, not all the way down. So there's quite a bit of detail. And we want to show that detail. So what we can do is something called a cutaway. So if we uh, click the broken section, uh, we're going to click um, select a closed profile. So we're going to make a circle around here. So if I go that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and the depth of the section, we want to go all the way to the middle. So we just click the middle there and we're going to press OK. So that was using one view to say what we wanted to look at another view to say how deep we wanted to go and if we look we can actually see there's the walls of the uh, the tube there's the inlet for the wire there's the block there's the block and that is a little piece sticking out so that rests on it okay so now what we can do is we can start adding all the dimensions So we can start adding we can start adding all the dimensions uh, to the parts that are actually hidden. So if we go to the dimension tool, actually let's have a look at the dimensions. We've got uh, we're going to be using standard dimensions, so D, and we're also going to be using radials and diameters because we've got a few curves in here. So I'll select that one. Let's zoom in, and we can do a bit of detailing first. So that size of the hole is there. The uh, 
don't probably need to do the rest of that the size of that is there if you're not happy about that I mean we are plus minus um, 0 0.1 so if I just you see where that comes up the tolerance window if you just hover over that you can actually just change that uh, to make your life a bit easier when you because you're going to be using this to refer to obviously so that you can refer to a plan we can do the diameter but I'm not going to do it here for the tube we can do the internal diameter but that doesn't matter because you're being given it so I wouldn't worry about that and the next part is the thickness of the wood is a good idea to do well, I don't like that being in that profile so we will go to dimensions and we'll do that where's the best way I think it's here actually so the best way would be that one one two so the larger ones 25 one two and the smaller ones are 23 okay and uh, of course it's not worth doing that because we've actually got that dimension here we can do this dimension because we do want to know uh, when to start bending the tube so if we go here to here gives us the point um, let's make that 110 pressing escape and then you can actually reorganize that to make it a bit neater okay so 110 then we have a bend angular from there to there is 90 degrees that makes so that's okay and then we can do from there to there is 47.3 let's just go 47 degrees okay and we've got the little gap there again it's so small probably not even worth doing but just so you know you can do it I'll show you how okay so pretty useful that part pretty useful this part uh, with the, the actual lampshade itself might need to actually oh that worked okay sort of so we'll do that way up here try and keep your dimensions off the drawings themselves um, just to stop a, any confusion uh, we will leave that there I think and we will do the this dimension here uh, there and try and keep that in line we could have probably done that way to make it 35 yeah 35 okay so we've got it's getting dimensioned it's okay we need the last one is here I'm just hoping we can actually do a diameter dimension there we did we managed to do that so that is 122 and we'll leave that there okay now the position of the hole is quite an important one and we have got that there and we can add a center line but I'm not sure if it will do it or not let's just have a look so we want from there to there and we want that center line perfect so now we know exactly where to drill the hole so I can go from that center line to that outside line is 9.6 or let's just call it 10 no let's call it 9.6 otherwise it screws up the other information that I corrected for the 14 okay so I now know where to drill the hole uh, we could say that that is the center line of that I'm not sure it is and the last part I think that's it I think that's it for you and it's got your name on there and everything else then all you need to do is screenshot that or you can uh, export that save it as 
um, or print to a PDF okay so that means that you've got two things you've got your beautiful lamp that you've drawn and you've also got your working drawing in the other videos I will show you how to create different shades uh, depending on your design